Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to take you along as I do a scrap buster, a scrap buster uh, video today. And um, before I do that, um, the my last video I did, I was um, showing you how I achieved, how I made these embroidered um, journal covers. And uh, I did finish a couple more. We did this one together, and uh, the only thing I have to do is I started uh, my pit, my uh, you know my inserts. Uh, they're not sewn in yet, and I did finish the inside of this and made the pocket. We laid this whole thing out, and what I decided to do. So if if you are interested in learning how to make these, incorporating your embroidered pieces into your journal covers. Uh, and don't want the stitching on the outside like this. I glued, I, I came in and I sewed everything and then I, I glued the embroidered piece after I sewed the trim on just on the front. So then I can sew in my signatures, wrap this around and add some trim to the back end. So I did that one and this is the one we had laid out together but I decided on two different trims, uh, the white and then this uh, lacy blue and then um another tip uh with the craft text if you're using craft text as the base of the cover you can paint it you can ink it you can do whatever so if you can see underneath i did some inking first on the craft text then i laid uh some lace over top so I wanted to match the mauve covers, uh, the mauve colors rather, of this embroidered piece. And so this is ready for another journal. So see, here's the back, so you can get a better, actually there's two pieces of lace on the top of this. So um, just some more ideas of, of how to use your embroidered covers. Now with that, we end up, when we prepare those, if you um, saw my last video here, let me just straighten this out a little bit. I'm gonna sit down because we're gonna be busy using up some scraps. We ended up with all of these um, off cuts and I showed you how you just take your embroidered piece and you rip the fabric off or you can cut it, you know, but I like the shabby uh, ends showing. So we're en I ended up, when I prepared a bunch of these, I ended up with all of these uh, off cuts. Now this is like a canvassy kind of material. So there's a lot of ideas in my brain what to do with these, but one of the things uh, I decided to do is, uh, a few, maybe uh, six months ago, I um, made these scrappy strips and I actually did them, I think there's paper on the back. I can't even remember how I did it to use up my, my trims and uh, I color coordinated them. So each strip can be used on the side of a page or cut down to use as trim. And I was able to use up a lot of my scraps and this is what I have left um, of those. And you'll see these in books. Now this one was done uh, on, on fabric. So I'm going to take these pieces uh, of fabric. I have a huge bin of paper off, off cuts. And also I started one and I thought, well, you know what? I might as well turn the camera on and take them along because I'm gonna use um, several different colors so I have them for upcoming projects. Look at all these beautiful colors I have in all sizes, see? And I have all sorts of scraps. So I'm sure you guys do too. Uh, so I pulled out of my paper scrap bin. Let me see if I can even show you the, I don't think you're gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna pull the camera back. This huge, this big bin, is full of paper scraps, my offcuts from my journals. And uh, then I have this full of trim scraps. 
And I also have a couple other containers um, full of trim scraps. So what I did is I pulled out um, one of these strips of fabric, and you can do this with any of your fabric pieces. It doesn't have to be off the embroidery or whatever, and you can even lay a piece of lace and do it on lace. Uh, and then I pulled out, this is like that mauve color. So then I went in and I pulled out of my paper, just picked out some paper scraps that I had in there that I thought would work. And then I pulled out just some trims that had the pinks and the mauves in it. Okay, so this piece will probably end up in this journal somewhere or part of it because I make these to where they can be cut off and then you can come and add some gems on them and all sorts of fun things. You know, almost like a snippet roll, but not. <laughs> you know, not a snippet roll, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're continuing. What I've got here so far is I've got, I added this little piece of a uh, cut off lacy kind of material and then um, some, just some scraps. And I am uh, in inking the edges of it. And I was gonna pull out a pink, but I think I'm just gonna use my Distress Oxide. And I really want to not go all the way to the edges, so I have these, these little, am I crooked? Let me see. I'm gonna move this this way, guys, a little bit. Let me move this. Let me see, am I going the right way? I think I'm going the wrong way. Okay, there we go, that's a little bit better. I wanna make sure we're in focus as I work. It's a little high for me to see, so I don't, sometimes I get a little out of focus. All right, so I wanna incorporate some fabrics and some paper trims all in one. So, and then maybe even later on, pull out a few embellishments and stuff to put on it. But right now, we're just gonna start, it's basically collaging on fabric. And we're collaging with paper and trims okay so if you get the where i'm going with that like my scrappy strips i did a little bit of both all right so i have a little um trim down here and i'm thinking i might want to add a little trim up here i'm working my way up the strip and uh i have or a little lace i have this little piece of lace that's kind of cute let me cut a piece of that and you know don't overthink it just don't overthink it because you're going to end up probably taking bits of this for your journals anyways. So it's not going to be one cohesive piece unless you want to make it that way to come down a, a paper on the side of the page. And I will, like I do with everything else, take it to the machine and sew it and add some fun stitching in it. And I can't do that on camera because my um, apparatus is above my workroom here and my sewing table is that way. So uh, I just can't get it all on this desk. I pulled out this piece of vellum uh, print that has a print on it also. I thought maybe we could use that. I don't know. That was in my scrap box. All right, so I have a little piece of that there. Um... I'm gonna put this piece up here, take a piece of this, and I'm just gonna rip and tear these things. Let's do a little inking just on the edges. Not, not a necessity. I think I'll put this over here on this side, actually. This is a little bit too big. Then I just kind of, I will do some horizontal and I'll do some vertical up the, uh, up the page. Kind of pop it right over that lace right there and then I'll do a little strip of something over here. See what else we have. This is pretty. Got a little of that pink in it. That's too much like that. I think I'll do this piece. And take a little of this off. 
I think that fits that fits good. It's not exactly cut perfectly, but I'm not I'm not concerned about that. So I'm mixing both um, cardstock and just a photo paper that I had used in my journals. I feel like we need some uh, lace or some kind of texture. I do have this that I was cutting off. It's a die cut, and that's kind of cute. So I'll cut, I think I'll cut a piece of that and put that up in that corner. And I'm going to ink it. I usually am quite quiet when I collage. It's very um, therapeutic for me. Okay, uh, I would like to do, let me see what I have for trims over here. This is cute, I like these pieces. A little rosebud, maybe a little rosebud over here. Cut this. There we go. I'm thinking I might want to put a little, maybe just a little paper in behind there. Or maybe not. That way you can see the fabric in behind. I have a little sari here in that mauve color. Can go on here somewhere maybe. Kind of running out of room. We're going to try to move on and do a different color in a minute. Let's see what I have in my... Pink was on the top because I had just finished a couple of journals that had pink in them so a big lap book i had a lot of trims left over from that one Let's see what else we have over here for paper i really like this little since we were, got the roses over there maybe just uh pop that on there And we're kind of almost at the top here. We could do a little bit of something there, maybe uh, maybe a little bit more lace. So you can see what's happening here. So this could be cut up in a variety of things or you can run it down a page. I'm gonna come in, I will add some sewing all the way around and then I'll probably come in like in a Franken page and sew up on the sides. Let me see if I have one that I did so you can. This one, this one I just sewed, I think, oh, okay, I sewed down each side. And then uh, this one was done on, on a paper. And this just has some fabrics and even some napkin and stuff on it. So just use whatever scraps you have. So I sewed down each side and then once down the middle. So we could do that or you could do it like a, hold on, let's see if I have a Franken tag here um, where I'll make a big, that's a piece of a master board. And see how I came around the pieces? 
with my stitching. I'll probably do something like that. Okay, so let's do, let's do another one. I don't know why I put that out there. Okay, so here's our mauve piece. Uh, let me pull out this aqua. This one's kind of big. Let me see if I have a smaller piece. Oh, this, this is from another fabric. Here we go. I've got this um, mint green color. So first thing I did is I, I tried to pull the strings off and trim the strings off. You don't have to, they're kind of fun on there, but. All right, let me move my pink stuff aside and I'll come back and I'll, I'll use this up on another mauve or pink one and see what I have in the way of mint. I see a piece right here already. This can even be used. Uh, let me pull out that. I'm just over here digging through my pile of scraps. No, not that. Let's see. That's pretty. I could use that. Okay. That's got a little bit of uh, sea foam in it, which would work. These didn't print correctly, something. Yeah, I could have backed it. What it was is these were supposed to print on um, card stock. So, I mean, I have all of this that I stuck in my scrap pile, which probably shouldn't have been in there, but that's okay. Ooh, ooh, some vintage wallpaper sample. All right, so we've got some greens and some mints out. Let me see if I have anything else. Just trying to look, I'm digging down through here to find stuff that I think might go. I mean, it doesn't have to be green. You can use any color, but I like to try to color coordinate. Okay, so we've got, we've got a pile of stuff. We're going to make it work. Let me see what I have over here. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. Let me see what else. Let me just pull this right over here. Got some roses that's pretty. It's got a little green in it. There's some white lace. Ooh. Let me see. I have this. I could take a piece of that. Here we go. A piece of that. Let's see if I have anything else here. You can use cheesecloth. You can use just, oh, here's a little pretty piece of lace. Um, another little embellishment there. That's fun. Okay, you get the, oop, here we go. Look at, this is something. All right, you get the idea. So you just look through your scraps, find, you know, things. It doesn't, that's pretty. All right, let's start. I want to start with um, a piece of lace here at the bottom. I have this pretty, it's like an ecru color. It's just a scrap. So let me cut a piece of that off. It was used in one of my layered lace journals. I could lay it this way, right at the bottom. I think I will. Just, it's hard for me sometimes to see which way this the lace goes. If it's I have it face up or face down. I like these colors. It's like a little piece of cardstock. I've got here. Yeah, like this. I 
I want this rose. frame. Okay. I'm going to lay this this way. I think I'd like a little piece of either fabric or lace. A little piece of um, Little piece of sorry. I'll probably come in and put a little um, gemstone or something on the sorry. Or maybe just some fun stitching. one of these. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm looking under here because I have these little strips and I like that green in there. So let me find my ruler. Hello ruler. Where did you go? There it is, buried. I think I'm going to use a, that that um, embossed vellum, and I might put a little green ink on it. This is pretty like a net, a mesh. Um, could do a piece of that. I also have this. All right, let me find another piece of paper and I might use a piece of that. Let me grab some inks here. See if I have a greenish color. Probably pine needles. This pine needles is kind of like a mauvey or mauvey minty green color. I'll just lay it this way. So let me tear a piece of this. Lay 
that right there. If I lay it there and then add this right there, that might work. Oops. I got glue seepage. Put this right here. Cut a little piece of this. Or we could do a little white lace under first. Let me see, this is kind of a little wider. You know, I kind of like the white lace. I think I'll just cut a piece of that. Before I lay that down, I think I'm gonna add the paper up here so then the white lace can kind of go over it. This is pretty. Actually, I want to lay it, I want it to go this way. Let's take this green color. No, we're not doing that. Be good. We only have um, the two dogs now. My little, my little um, precious Lucy went to be over the rainbow, what do you call the rainbow bridge last Saturday. We've had her for 12 years. She was 14 years old. So it's been a sad week. Um, for us but a lot of you that have followed me for a long time you know you've heard me talk about Lucy which one of these did I want this one up here I think that one Lucy and Ricky <laughs> like the Lucy and Ricky show uh, but uh, we only have Ricky now and then we have Brie the little chihuahua so Lucy was a rat terrier and Ricky's a rat terrier and we rescued both of them. And uh, Lucy is the one that always laid right under my desk. So that it's been a tough week. I'm not, I'm not thinking right now, let me see, okay. I think I'm just gonna put this over here and then I'm gonna do a little kind of lace right there of some sort. And then we'll add that white lace up the middle and we'll call this one done, except for the stitching. I think I might add this little trim right here. Need to add a little something there. Let's see what I have here. Let me go ahead and add this lace right here first. So, this is my iPad dinging, guys. Sorry about that. Somebody's trying to get a hold of me. Um... Oh, I started to say something. I don't know. I think I'll put it over here. Just a little piece. A little piece of trim. I do have, I just, I don't like this down here, so I feel like I need to put something on that. I don't like the way that looks. I may do like a crystal or something on it, but 
I think I'm gonna put a little applique over it because I'm just looking over here on my desk and I have a little applique. And I think I'm just gonna cut out this little piece here and just trim off these little excess stringies. And I'm gonna put that right there. Because I don't love that piece of sorry there. And you guys layer it up as far as you want, you know. It, you can keep going. But okay, so we have this one and which is in the mint tones, and then we have this one which is in the mauve tones, and I'm gonna continue on and make some more of these. So uh, I just wanted to share that, turn on the camera, and show you uh, some ideas. Now, one other thing, these are great to make um, your ruffles. Now, let me just show you actually. I have a piece of lace here. It wouldn't be the piece of lace I would use, but I will go ahead and maybe, well, actually this is fine, and add the lace on here, sew it right down, um, and then make your ruffle for the edge of your page. And look how cute that is, or for at the top. And then add, you know, you can add a little charm on here. Look at that. So uh, don't throw these bits out. They're great. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.